Hey, in this tutorial, we'll be creating a file by using Java. Once we get done coding inside of this class and execute it, then a new file will appear here. In this case, we'll be creating a file called my file and the extension will be a text file. Alright, well, let's get started. We have to import a library from the I.O. So let's do import java.io. And by the way, I.O. stands for input output. And mo most of the things in this library are that there are many file handlers inside of this library. And now let's do a public class thing. Usually what we do in this program. Make public class tutorial. Okay. Oven close braces. Curly brace. Okay. Now let's do public static void. We're going to make a main method. String. RGS. Oh yeah, make sure you don't make a new line because we're going to include something with the main method. And this will be throws IO exception. And the reason why we have this is because that, just in case if there's any error inside of your file, like you cannot create a file for some reason, then it will throw an IO exception. And this is like trying cache too, by the way. So now let's make the meat of this program. Okay, now let's make a data type called file f. And the reason why we have this is because for f as a variable, we're going to make it equivalent to the name of the file. And then once you get the name of the file, then Java will know that it will be the name of the file because your data type is file. But in order to make it recognize like f is equivalent to the name of the file, let's do f is equivalent to new file, open, close parentheses, and this is where you name the, uh, the file. You type in, you can type in as anything as you want, but in this tutorial, yeah, in this tutorial, just type in my file.txt. And it doesn't have to be a text uh, file. It can be anything. But for now, we'll be focusing on the text format or text extension of the file. So now let's do, like, if the file name doesn't exist at all, then we'll tell Java to create that file. In order to use like if it doesn't exist then we have to use the exclamation mark if f exists does not exist and by the way that dot exists is like a pre-made method from this library right here so you gotta remember this this name of the method like so basically what we did here is like if the my file that text does not exist then you you run a block of code inside over here and then in order to create a new file you type in the variable f and then you got to memorize too because this is this will be yeah you'll see actually hold on create new file all right yeah this is like a pre yeah, actually, this is a pre-made function or method. And this came from the I.O. library also. So, yeah, it will run this. If it does not exist, it will name the file, myfile.txt. It will create that. And then, let's see, yeah, let's let the user know that the file has been created if there's no such thing as a modifier.txt 
let's say new file let's do slash because we're going to use a double quote inside of the quotes too and you'll see what I mean by that after we run it my file dot txt another slash and double quote and let's do has been created to the current directory alright now we're done with that we're done with the code basically and basically yeah and if you just name a file like myfile.txt then yeah it will create a file within the same directory as in the program yeah in this program so yeah now we save this and let's compile it and run it but before we run it I'll show you the program first or this file this directory I mean alright well right now we don't see any my file dot txt but like once we run it you'll see it it says new file my file dot txt and that's what I mean by having a backslash or yeah a slash because we also want to include a double quote within a quote if you know what I mean and this is what it looks like and now, as you can see, there's a file called my file. And once we open it, there's nothing in here. But don't worry, in the next tutorial, we'll be doing something with that. All right. Well, now let's see if it. Let's yeah. We'll see, we'll see what happens if we run again. Nothing happens because the my file that txt exists, so it won't do anything. All right, well, this concludes my tutorial over creating a file by using Java.